So, you could probably hear the rain outside the tent. Uh, I <laughs> just wanted to get the tent up before the next weather front come over. But it's pissing down, so uh, I've got even got water on the... I'll sort that out in a bit. It was just a mad rush to get the inner tent and everything up. And just throw the jacket and the helmet in here out of the way to we'll let this blow off. But it's sort of putting a dampener on the day for getting back on the bikes and exploring over Shillian, which is sort of pissed us off a little bit. So I'm sort of thinking if it doesn't sort of stop now, I know tomorrow's weather's going to be better, whether or not stay here another night and do some exploring tomorrow. But it's half past one in the afternoon and we'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, that's a hundred and something mile to get here today. And this certainly wasn't forecast, well, as bad as this anyway, for sure. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if the weather breaks in a bit and uh, give you an update. Good morning, folks. And uh, this is rare at the moment. It has rained this morning, but we have got sunshine ready for the off this morning. That's better. Look at that, we've got a blue sky behind us. How rare is that? So yeah, it did piss down earlier on, but we sort of uh, knew it was gonna clear off. We're gonna have showers today and get wet at some point, but I mean, that is irrelevant. So what we're gonna do is head back over the Shillian Road and then to uh, Glen Leon, and then head to the end of that and then try and get to Loch Leon or Lyon. Uh, and then there's a beautiful little cafe along there. It's the best soup in Scotland. So we might try and stop there. And then there's a track that goes through to the other lock and I don't know whether it's accessible yet but we're going to soon find out so it's new roads um, along some beautiful scenery so let's get this day started see you on the bike folks So we just passed through Keltneyburn and uh, we're on the way. We're just going to take a little break at the uh, 2,000 year old yew tree. We've been riding for about 40, 45 minutes now, 50 minutes, so we'll take a break there and then head into uh, Glen Lyon. Pretty windy today, but at least so far the wet stuff's held off. So this is an high class. And I've been told as well, it's probably one of the most beautiful little glens in the whole of Scotland, this. It's just so green and lush. And the river flowing through at the bottom as well is just teeming with fish and wildlife. And with a bit of luck we might catch the deer in the trees as well, so... Let's hope for a good day. So we're headed into 
Glen Lyon now. I think it's pronounced Lyon, not Leon. I have this every every year, no one's ever put me right. L Y O N. Twisties for a quarter of a mile. The only thing is you've got to take it easy along here. Another single track we've got. Damp roads, leaves on the road, cars coming. So just a leisurely ride, but the can't really pick that out. That's amazing, like a sort of ravine and the river running through it. There's some points down by the river in a bit, so we'll stop off there. But if you're ever up this way, don't pass this. You can halfway along here is the bridge of Bulgy. And if you turn left there, that goes over the Ben Lawyers Road, over the mountain road, and then down into Loch Tay. We'll just cut forward and show you guys the best bits along the way. Well, we made it to the uh, famous soup stop. So this is the old post office on the Glen Leon Road. It's a shame the road over the mountains closed, but ah, tomato soup. And the cakes look rather nice in here as well. So as long as the weather holds off, the rest of today will be happy, but at this minute, I think we can see some rain in the air. So we better get this soup down as quick. So we've left after our soup, coffee and a, and a roll, and headed down. This is a dead-end estate road, but you can see why even <laughs> that wind's blowing about 90 miles an hour why we wanted to come down here this is a fantastic road just to drive it's 10 miles long till the end but what a view you get there's a lot of loose gravel on here in the <laughs> back wheels doing a little bit of squirming on the corners but that is what we've got to get used to some gravel here. Little tight shimmy. Loose gravel. I'm not sure where that little. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at that house down there. Bloody hell. Can you imagine living there? Own little private estate road. Wow. I think we'll go to the end and hopefully if this sky clears when we come back, that is a, a mega photo opportunity. Just see a little bit of that low pressure, low pressure cloud breaking there just between the the V and the mountain. So with a bit of luck, it's another fast shower is going to blow over quick. But then again, we can always <laughs> look at these little tracks. Another time. <laughs> I 
and it just shows you when you do do a bit of exploring just keep your eyes peeled because you can always go back on the map and see any places like that little trail roads you might miss it's the burn that's another track down there that's feeding the river and the river opens out here as well um, I once did camp overnight in a camper van just was it along here? I think it was here actually we did put the camper van along there don't know if you were supposed to but it was it was a good night I, I, I'm, I'm sure we did stay overnight unless we just parked up there for an afternoon it's that long ago now but yeah, how fantastic is this? The water coming off the mountain. I mean, that is just one tremendous view. Gonna have to get a, a photo with those mountains in the background. Okay, so we found a track that might lead to killing. Uh, we've got this Welcome to Glen Lion, Leon, the longest, loneliest and loveliest glen in Scotland. And it shows that we are here, and it shows this track to killing, shows this one to killing, and this one to killing. So somewhere along the line, it'll be over the mountain, and then come down uh, the valley. So we'll go up and give it a shot, and if it's doable, we'll carry on. Okay, so let's uh, check this out and find my line. At least we've got a little bit of tarmac on here, so that's certainly going to help. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? I think it's just a wash off at the bottom of the road. Well, I hope this does go all the way to killing because of the other road that was closed. This will certainly make up for it. <laughs> you know, I always say this, you'll never find it if you never look or just choose the options of the roads that you never Never imagined doing. But this is what we got the bikes for. Just to find these roads just off the beaten track. Whether or not it's up here in Scotland or down, you know, closer to home. But uh, I always said, I said this to Stuart, said with the other road closed, there is a track. And I said it to another biker on uh, a 750 GS that there is another trail but I've never tried it but oh my god <laughs> I know I'm just a little bit disappointed with the wind because I can't put the drone up but I mean I'm sure you guys are getting a fair view let's put that rear camera on and then we can get a little bit of stew and show you what the views like behind I know the ABS light's flashing, but I have put it into off-road mode. Just to give me a little bit more feel of the bike without it interfering with me, but I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot rougher than that, so I can actually probably stick it back into road mode now. Let's enjoy this view and give you a little bit of Highland music to enjoy this Highland view.
all I can say is, oh my god, oh my god, that, oh, I don't know how much the GoPro could really pick that up, but that is absolutely spectacular. I mean, the way that it just drops off to the valley floor underneath you. Wow. I'm just getting used to the way this, these tyres are squirming into the, you know, finding the feet now. It's just, it's a little bit more natural. It's unnerving when you're just used to road bike, but this is what I needed. A little bit of this experience, and I'm so glad I'm getting it. But with views like that, oh, wow. You know, it's gone down to 7.5 degrees. 7.5 degrees. That is almost winter. No wonder there's still some snow on the top. So we're going to have a photo opportunity here. I'll talk into the wind now, I don't know if you can hear this, it is absolutely howling a gale, but what a fantastic place to stop and what a view in the background. So this is the road, if you take the Glen Lyon Road, go past the post office and ignore the bridge of Bulgy and carry on till the end of the Glen. When you get to the end of the Glen, towards the dam wall, there's a track then to the left hand side where it forks off. I think I've got that on GoPro. And then you'll see the sign of the wind die down. Bloody hell. You'll see the, <laughs> the sign on the left hand side is follow the track and it leads you over and then to kill it. I might have to edit that bit out because that wind is ridiculous. There we go, it's died down a bit now, so let's get back on the bikes and see if we can make it to killing. Hopefully this road stays in the condition it's in. <laughs> 